Hello, hello. My name is Natalie. If you are new to the channel, welcome to my little corner of the internet. Uh, if you've practiced with me before, welcome back to the mat. Uh, today's practice is going to be short and sweet, um, but with a little bit of challenge in it. My invitation to you is to find a place of inner calm throughout this practice. So no matter what I throw at you here on the mat, see if you can stay contained within your energy in that place of inner calm. And then, of course, the idea is to take this off the mat where um, really the true practice of yoga begins and see if no matter what this day throws at you, you can stay contained in your energy in that place of inner calm. If you are a yoga teacher who is thinking about taking your teachings online or who would maybe like some support with sequencing or theming um, or just support on your yoga teaching journey, uh, there's a free online community that I will link in the description below that I have created for yoga teachers. Would love to have you there uh, joining in the discussion. And if you would like to support the channel and the making of more videos like these, please consider joining me on Patreon. That link is also in the description below. It would be an absolute honor to have you join me there. Already for today. Um, no prompts <laughs> should be absolutely crucial. I always like to recommend that if you have prompts at home, blocks, strap, blanket, or towel, um, do have them near your mat. Why not? Uh, just in case you find that you do want a little extra support uh, during the practice. So if you've got props, Grab them, sprinkle them around your mat. Uh, go ahead and unroll your mat, and we're going to begin right here in a tall seat. Alrighty, go ahead and find a tall, comfortable seat. We're going to take just a moment here to arrive on the mat, to settle in. You can choose to sit up on a prop. I'm sitting up on a block. If you've got a meditation cushion or a bolster, you can sit up on that. If you'd like to just sit on your mat, that is beautiful as well. And if it feels okay, invite your eyelids to close. And if closing the eyes does not feel comfortable for you today, feel free to simply lower your gaze towards the earth. I'm starting to bring your awareness inward. And as you do, start to take inventory. Notice what's present for you in your physical body. And any sensations, um, any parts of the body that are uh, making themselves known more than others. See if you can simply notice whatever's present without um, labeling it, without judging it as good or bad, positive or negative. Simply notice what is there. And then doing the same thing with your breath. And simply noticing your natural inhales and exhales. What does it feel like to breathe in the vessel of your body today? And start to deepen your breaths, to elongate them. Make your inhales a little bit fuller. And your exhales a little bit longer. And 
and starting to breathe with more intention and breathing a bit more deliberately. Take two more cycles of breath here. Then you can choose to keep the eyes closed or to open them if you'd like as you make your way into a child's pose. Bringing your big toes together to touch. The legs can be um, together or you can open the knees wide. Really, whatever feels best in your body today. Bringing the forehead to the earth. And breathing into the back side of the body and to this into the sides of the body so breathe into the entire circumference of your torso With the arms extended long in front of you, start to press firmly into the palms. Press into the palms so much that the elbows lift off of the earth. Lift the forehead off the mat and walk the hands all the way over to the left side. Creating a big stretch all the way down the right side of the body. Press into the palms, walk the hands through center all the way over to the right. Pull back with the hips as you find a bit more length and space down the left side. And then coming back to center, and then go ahead and lift up into your tabletop position. From here, we'll take some circles with the hips. So you can take the hips out to the right and then around back towards the feet over to the left and forward. You can even bring the weight uh, sort of forward on the hands so that you're making circles over the wrists as well. So making big circles with the hips. And then reverse your direction. Take your circle the other way. And then coming back into neutral and start to move through your cat cow here. So as you inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart, lift the tailbone. As you exhale, round the spine, press the earth away. Chin comes in towards the chest. Inhale as you arch, and exhale as you round. Inhale. And exhale. And take one more here, inhaling to arch the spine, exhaling to round. And then coming into a neutral spine. From here, you can walk the hands forward just a little bit. Go ahead and tuck your toes under and start to press your seat back towards your feet. Keep the torso pressing onto the thighs as you start to lift the knees off of the earth. So you're really pressing back through the heel. You should feel a pretty big stretch um, along the backs of the ankles and the lower calves, pressing the earth away. Now from here, you're going to start to lift the hips high towards the sky. Keep the chest pressing against the thighs so the knees are going to stay bent. So you're coming into a really bent leg, um, downward facing dog. Find a lot of length through the spine as you press the chest back, hips reaching high. 
Now go ahead and shift forward like you're going to come into a plank pose, but not coming all the way, bringing the gaze towards the, uh, towards the hands and start to bend the elbows out to either side and then wrap the elbows back towards the body. Keep the elbows pulling back towards the body so you should feel the lats starting to activate here. And then from here, start to straighten the arms as you allow the head to drop once again. Keep lifting through the hips, length through the spine. Find a light engagement of the lower belly and start to straighten the legs a little or a lot if you'd like. Um, keeping um, bent knees in downward facing dog is a beautiful way to take your downward facing dog. So if you want to keep the knees bent, feel free. And then start to walk the feet up to the top of your mat. Find hip width distance between the feet. Keep a bend in the knees. Let the torso and head hang heavy towards the earth. You can shake out the head, yes or no. You can sway the torso side to side. You can shift the weight on the feet forward and back. And if you took any variation with the arms, like holding opposite elbows, release hands to the earth. And as you inhale, lift up halfway, lengthen crown to the head forward, hands can come onto shins. As you exhale, fold down over your legs. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale as you fold. Inhale as you lift halfway. Exhale, stay right here, bring hands to hips, keep a little bend in the knees, come to stand with a flat back. Beautiful. Find your Tadasana Mountain Pose. So bringing the big toes to touch. Uh, you might have a slight gap between the heels here in your Tadasana. Bringing the arms by the sides of the body. Root down through the feet. Find length through the spine. Can you find that place of inner calm within you? And as you inhale, lift the arms up high. Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale as you hinge at the hips, fold over the legs, Uttanasana, forward fold. As you inhale, lift halfway, lengthen. As you exhale, plant the palms and step the feet back into a strong plank pose. So shoulders are over the wrists, gaze is towards the front edge of your mat. The navel is pulling up towards the spine, shoulder blades are spreading on the back, the heels are reaching towards the back of your mat. Take another big breath in. As you exhale, bring the knees to the earth and then gently lower the torso to the earth. Tops of the feet press into the mat as you inhale, cobra pose, shoulder blades glide back and down, lift the heart. And as you exhale, take the hips up and back, find your downward facing dog. On an inhale, lift the right leg up and back, reach through the right heel. On an exhale, scoop in the belly, bring the knee in towards the chest, and with control, step the right foot in between the hands. Stay on the ball of the back foot, lift the torso, lift the arms, find your high crescent lunge. Notice if you're leaning the torso slightly forward, and bring the shoulders to stack right above the pelvic bowl. You might need to bend the back knee a little bit. That's totally okay. Go ahead and take a big inhale here. Now as you exhale, you are gonna lean the torso long over the right leg as the arms reach back. Long line of energy from left heel to the crown of the head. Inhale, lift the torso, lift the arms. Exhale, lean forward, arms reach back. Inhale, lift torso, lift arms. Exhale to lean. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lean the torso and this time, Use the left toes to propel you forward. Bring all the weight onto the left leg, bring, or right leg, sorry. Bring the left knee up in towards the chest. Hands can be by the sides of your body. They can be at heart center. Take a big breath in here. As you exhale, lean the torso forward. 
Left leg reaches back, finding your warrior three. If you want to bring hands onto the earth or onto two blocks for a supported warrior three, feel free to do so. On your next inhale, lift the torso, lift the left knee into the chest. Exhale, take the left leg back, lean forward. Inhale as you lift. Can you find that place of inner calm even through this movement? Exhale, lean forward. He left heel reaches back. As you inhale, lift up. Exhale, lean forward. Left heel reaches back. Bend deeply into the right knee. Step the left foot way back. Come back into your high lunge. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, bring hands onto the earth. Step the right foot back. Find a hot, uh, strong plank pose. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, you can bring the knees to the earth or keep them lifted for Chaturanga. Inhale as you open the heart, cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, take the hips up and back, find downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. On your inhale, lift the left leg up and back. On your exhale, scoop in the belly with control. Step the left foot in between the hands. Stay on the ball of the back foot as you lift the torso and lift the arms. Find your high crescent lunge. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, lean over the left leg as the arms reach back. Inhale as you lift. Exhale, lean. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lean. And then from here, use the right toes. Propel forward all the way down to the left leg, right knee into the chest. You can bring the palms to touch at heart center. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, lean forward, right heel reaches back, warrior three. Inhale as you lift. Exhale, Virabhadrasana three. Inhale. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale as you lift, right knee to chest. Exhale. Warrior three, bend deeply into the left knee, step the right foot way back, find your high crescent lunge. Take a big breath in. Exhale, hands to the earth, step left foot back. Take a big breath in in your plank pose. Exhale, lower towards the earth your way, either knees on the earth or not. As you inhale, open the heart, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Long breath out. Bring the knees to the earth, seat to feet, forehead to the mat, find child's pose. And come back to that place of inner calm, of inner peace. And then gently begin to lift the torso. And if you have time for a Shavasana today, please come on back, lie back on your mat, set yourself a timer and take your Shavasana. If you are a bit more pressed for time today, join me in a tall seat. Rooting down through your sitting bones, feel yourself sort of uh, plug into the earth. Find length through the spine all the way up to the crown of the head. Invite the eyes to close if that feels okay. And take a moment to take inventory here at the end of this practice. And 
Notice how the body feels. Notice the breath. Notice your own energy. The true practice of yoga begins now, begins when you step off of your mat. So see if you can stay in this space, stay residing in this inner calm, no matter what transpires. Bring the palms a touch at heart center. Bow the head gently towards the hands in a gesture of gratitude. Thank you so much for allowing me to lead you in this practice. Namaste. Thank you, yogis, so much for joining me here on the mat um, for this quick practice. Again, if you are a yoga teacher who would like some more support and just to connect with other yoga teachers, check out the free online community in the description below. And if you'd like to support the channel and the making of more videos like these, please consider joining me on Patreon. That link is also in the description below. Thank you once again for joining me here, and I will meet you right back here on the mat next time.